People can call me out all day and all night. It doesn't matter to me. I'll respond and sometimes I won't respond, right? But I'm going to call people out for sure that teach false teaching 100%. I don't call out people just to call out people, but I talk about the teachings that they talk about. And I know some people don't like me for that. Now, concerning John Ramirez, um, this is the second time calling me out. Totally fine. Call me out all you want. But what you're not going to do is just lie to people. You feel me? You can do whatever you want, merge with sorcerers. You're not going to lie to people, right? My allegiance is to God. And God has told me, if you, lo if you love me, you know, feed my sheep. If you love me, obey my commands, right? So that's where, that's where I come in and I teach people sound doctrine and I expose false teaching. And I think a lot of people get mad because I expose false teaching, right? We're not exposing people's hidden lives, but we're exposing things that are already public and it's doctrines of demons. And a lot of people are going to be judged for um, tolerating wickedness or false prophets or whatever, because the Bible says in Revelation chapter two, verse 20, nevertheless, I have this against you. You tolerate that woman Jezebel who calls herself a prophet, but 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 she teach but she misleads my servants into sexual morality and the eating of food sacrificed to idols. Right? So God was mad at certain people because they were tolerating a false prophet and she was teaching false doctrine. God has not called us to merge with sorcerers and whatnot. And, you know, John and I had a conversation behind the scenes, all right? We had a conversation behind the scenes. And I told him, yo, he's like, he contacted me. He's like, yo, this is where I stand. I'm doing this. You're not the Holy Spirit, blah, 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 blah. I give him my stance and I'm, I'm just like, yo, this is wrong because it's bringing confusion to the body of Christ. Right. And then at the end of it, I was like, I'll delete this because of how my, how, um, how I, uh, worded my words, how I expressed myself, right. Deleted it. Right. And he said, how much respect do I have for you? I have much respect for you and your ministry. And I said, thank you. I appreciate it. Blah, 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 blah. You know, it seemed like it was squash. It was good. I took that one post down that I was talking about, right? He never asked me to take it down, but I took it down, you know, because we had a conversation. I was like, okay, maybe these words that I posted, maybe a little too, whatever, right? But even in that, never called him false once, never attacked him. He was just like, yo, God has sent me there to do something. This is that, you know? And he's like, I understand how you feel. It was totally like a cool conversation. It was just like understanding each other and whatnot. And then when he went public, you know, you can go watch that video later. He threatened to shoot me. Right. Over me just uh, uh, addressing publicly on my platform for people to be warned about this conference and the merging of these two people. And when I brought this to his inbox or when he came to me, he didn't talk about defending them or or whatever. You shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do this. He was just trying to explain himself. But when he got public, you know, he threatened to shoot me. Right. Um, and you can go see that video. He called me stupid. He threatened to shoot me and he switched up. He said he respected my ministry, but he went public and started going against my ministry. And I'm just like, okay, that's pretty two-faced, right? So I'm going to play this video for you guys so you guys have understanding uh, of what I'm talking about when he called me up the second time. The first time when he called me out, you can watch the video on my page, right? Because I, I already posted it, but we're going to play this one. Well, I'm going to say it anyway. They got this guy named Bendigo. I'm going to say, if you're watching, I'm calling you out again. It doesn't matter if you call me out. Call me out a million times. <laughs> Built his ministry on, on deceptions and lies. Absolutely false. Absolutely false. And let's say if I built my ministry on deception and lies, what's wrong with that? If, I'm, if my ministry is based on exposing the evil one, exposing deception, exposing lies, because you're in spiritual warfare, you're exposing evil. You're exposing the devil. You're exposing deception. You're exposing Halloween. You're exposing uh, wickedness and dark arts and sorcery and witches and warlocks and uh, uh, yoga and all this stuff. You're doing those things. But I guess there's a problem when I expose the spiritual wickedness and spiritual warfare within the church, but you do it outside of the church. You focus on the occult, but I, I focus on the evil within the church. But let's keep it going. Have I called himself a prophet. Let's go back. Let's go back. Built his ministry on, on deceptions and lies. Never called himself a prophet. Never cast out a demon. Never took no one to the baptism pool. Never brought one to church. Never lay hands on people and cast out demons. And all he does is stand on social media to point out defects on people. So he's completely lying, right? He stated here, never casted out a demon. 
Fool, that's foolish, foolery, right? I do classes every month, once a month. And after each class, there's a mass deliverance. I do three-day fast once a month, mass deliverance after every teaching. I do Instagram live deliverance, TikTok live deliverance, Facebook live deliverance. I'm doing these things. And I know he's trying to shun my name, like destroy my reputation, but he can't. He's lying, right? I focus on teaching, right? But he, what he's doing right here is a lie. And for him to say I never lay hands on anyone is ridiculous. I wrote four books, four or five books, right? About a lot of different things. Deliverance, false prophets, um, family curses, you know, prayer and dreams, right? Wrote a lot of books, right? Everything he's saying right now is a complete lie. Complete lie. And there's footage on my TikTok and whatever. I'm not going to post it. Sorry that I don't go, go around and recording myself all over the place, always with cameras everywhere. Look at this demon said. Look what that demon said. And let demons talk for 10 minutes. I don't need to do that. You can do that. I, I've been doing deliverance since I was 19. You can do that, but I ain't going to do that. Call himself a prophet, never cast out a demon, never took no one to the baptism pool, never Lies. brought him to church, never lay hands on people, Lies. cast out demons. And all he does is stand on social media to point out defects on Lies. people. Now you tell me where God, where, where is God in that? When you call yourself a prophet, you have a title. You haven't prophesied. You haven't prophesied to nobody. You haven't cast out a demon. Because mm. I don't see no videos that you cast out any demons. Oh, so you got to see a video of me casting out a demon. You got to see a video. There's plenty of videos on social media to begin with, first of all. Anyone that knows my ministry knows that he deliverance. I get about... Maybe like 500 requests a month on all social media platforms for deliverance, period, right? Everyone knows that, right? But the my new followers uh, who are new have followed me because I exposed some type of false prophet or false teaching. So they have followed me, and now that's all they see maybe recently. And these people are not in my ministry group. They're 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 not uh, joining my. They're not a part of my classes. They they don't see my books. They don't see my other teachings because what's being elevated right now because of it's controversial. It means exposing false teaching and false prophets. Period. But you're gonna sit up here and just lie and lie and lie and lie and lie. I haven't seen you bring anyone to salvation to the sinner's prayer. First of all, this is so false. I've had I had a private meeting with a celebrity. You know, she's uh, very well known. Very, very, very well-known celebrity, right? That's a rapper. And I prayed for her, brought her through deliverance, and she gave her life to Jesus. There's many people I've brought through, brought to Christ. And I'm not here to defend myself, but I'm just trying to show you how John is just straight up lying. Straight up lying. This man is, does not know me. He's never met me in his life. But this is what I'm telling you guys. Not everything has to be publicized. It doesn't have to be publicized. You don't have to see reels and videos. You don't need to see that. It doesn't validate nothing. And I haven't seen you get wet, went into the baptism pool. Definitely have gone into the water and baptized people. Again, was not recorded. Does it be, need to be recorded? No. But you're easily to say things about people all the time. Listen, nobody's saying things about people's personal life or their personality or whatever. We talk about teachings. I know you guys 10,000 followers. That tells me that Jesus is not in your ministry. Oh, so Jesus is not in my ministry because I only have 10,000 followers. I don't got 10,000 followers. Facebook, let's just talk about it because he's lying. Facebook, I have 111,000 followers. 111,000. YouTube, I have 11,000. Um, TikTok, I have a, about, I believe, three, th three, 300,000, I believe. 311,000, all right? Then Instagram have 74,000. You're lying again. And you're telling people that Jesus can't be in my ministry because of followers. The Bible says, if two or three are gathered in my name, I am there in thy midst. And you're getting mad at me because I, I held you accountable. Not even, I just posted a flyer to my, talking to my following and saying, this is birthing confusion, never called you false, and you mad at me. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 11, have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather expose them, expose them, expose them. First Timothy chapter 5, verse 20, as for those who persist in sin, rebuke them in the presence of, in the presence of all so that so that the rest may stand in fear. So if you continually teach false teaching and don't repent, you're going to get exposed, 
by somebody. There's major, there's major exposure videos of the people I've exposed because of false teaching, false teaching. We got to stop taking these things like personal. If you lying on the Bible, it's like if you lying on the Bible, you deserve to be exposed. If you're teaching false things, you deserve to be exposed. Right? Titus chapter 1 verse 9, he must hold firm to the trust trustworthy word as taught so that he may able to give instruction in sound doctrine and also to rebuke those who contradict it. So whoever contradicts the scriptures deserves to be rebuked. Whoever teach on the, teaches on the third eye, sorcery and witchcraft, they deserve to be rebuked. If they're not rebuked, what happens is that none of these leaders are rebuking them. They're only doing conferences with them. And then y'all go into these conferences and getting demons because nobody is rebuking the contradictions or the sorcery or the witchcraft is being taught. Please look into the camera and listen to me. I address teachings. It's biblical. Uh, 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 2, preach the word. Be prepared in season and out of season. Correct, rebuke, and encourage with great patience and careful instruction. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 16, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 6 to 13. Let no one deceive you with empty words. Um, for because of these things, the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. Therefore, do not become partners with them. Don't do conferences with them. For at one time you were, you were in darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light, for the fruit of light is found in all that is good and right and true. And try to discern what is pleasing to the Lord. So when I made that post with John Maria and saying, yo, this is confusing because you're with sorcerers, people that teach on the third eye, and all this demonic stuff like atomic meditation, transcendental meditation, manifesting through your thoughts, and all these things. Um, I wasn't calling you false, but I was talking to the body of Christ how this can birth confusion. And this flyer was already public. And I've reached out to you again uh, in 2022 uh, pretending to Catherine Crick and you ignored me maybe because I didn't have influence back then. Now that I do, you responding like crazy. You going every church you go to, so, whoop, say my name. And it's cool because what you don't know, you're actually raising my influence indirectly. You're raising my influence. You talking about my name. People want to research who's a Bendigo because not everyone knows me, but you going into, you going into churches and saying my name. And the Bible says what the enemy has planned for evil, I'm turning it for your good. You're actually raising my influence. You are. And I'm I'm twenty I'm twenty nine I'm young and I got time I'm growing you know I'm growing in the Lord I'm a I'm a pastor's son I got time I'm like I'm probably half your age you feel me um, but the Bible tells us therefore do not become partners with them no matter what and when I saw that flyer I called it out I'm allowed to free will but you want to threaten me but you want to be and then you want to be a hypocrite. Uh, say you respect my ministry behind the scenes, then come publicly and call me out twice. And one time you say you're going to shoot me. Listen, I don't care how people feel about being called out or false teaching. I don't care. We should have the fruit of the spirit. We shall not be, we should not be prideful. We should not threaten to shoot each other. We should not insult people, but we should be like, yo, like this is, this is not right. Like, yo, like this is wrong. And guess what? You went to that conference. Did you, did you expose any wickedness? No. Did you refute or rebuke the, the third eye teaching or the witchcraft teaching? No. But you want to go publicly and lie to people and saying, I'm tearing people down or I'm trying to tear you down or I'm just trying to pick, at, pick and poke at people. No, no, no. Make the focal point teaching. Please. Make the focal point teaching. You can, you, can, you can threaten me as much as you want. You can call me out as much as you want. You can pick and poke at me. I don't care. My job on this earth is to teach sound teaching and rebuke the false teaching because false teaching will lead people into hell. Jezebel's false teaching will lead people into hell. And it's not about, no, it's not about, oh, people are not perfect. It's not about even being people being perfect. It's about what does the Bible say? It's about why are we teaching things outside of the Bible? Why are we merging with people that teach things outside of the Bible? That, that's what I'm saying. That's all. Oh, you know, we get we, we, just read the Bible, study the Bible. That's all. And I'm speaking to everybody. Because you only got 10,000 followers for a long time. That means your ministry is not bearing fruit. Oh, my ministry is not bearing fruit. Garbage. And we know we don't, I don't only have 10,000 followers. So, guys, those of you that, that have small ministries, right? Your ministry is not bearing fruit. You're not doing deliverance. You're not helping people. So it's only the big ministries that have hundreds of thousands of followers, which I do have. But it's all about it's all about 
those people. The Bible says two or three are gathered in my name. I'm there in that midst. God's not concerned about a whole crowd of followers. Jesus picked only 12 followers and there was a bunch of people that were just following him because they wanted deliverance and whatnot. Right? So, <laughs> you know, success in ministry or whatever is not based upon numbers. It's not based upon video evidence. It's not. That's why the Bible says, I, the Lord, search the heart and I test the mind. So it's the Lord that's actually seeing our fruit. He's seeing it. We don't have to post it everywhere. But what I focus more now is teaching. I used to do deliverance a lot, but I'm focused more on teaching. But if you look at, if you look at and I'm not comparing, but you look at my ministry, I think I got about 135,000 followers on YouTube. And I don't even put much stuff up there because it's bearing fruit. Oh, you're not comparing. You just did compare. You said you have 135,000 followers on YouTube, and I only have 10,000, which is a lie. I have 11,000 on YouTube, but you acting like, oh, I just have 10,000 followers. That's it. When you know I have 11, 111,000 followers on Facebook, and you message me on Facebook knowing I have over 100,000 followers, period, and 74,000 on YouTube, on, uh, on uh, Instagram. You feel me? 300,000 on TikTok. Now, I'm going to stop this here. Now, people in the body of Christ, I want you to understand that in the Bible, false prophets were called out. Jezebel was called out. There was a prophet, a prophet named Hananiah. He was called out because he was misleading God's people, and God end up, ended up killing him. He was called out by name, Hananiah, false prophet. Jeremiah called him out. Okay, then we know the false prophet Bar Jesus was called out. Simon the sorcerer was called out by Philip. Okay, Jezebel was called out. Elijah challenged the prophets of Baal. Jehu uh, challenged the, the um, Jezebel. So it's biblical for this to happen. And if you just want to ignore these things, or just focus on yourself. God has called me to this. God called Jehu to that. God called Elijah to that. God called Jeremiah to address the false prophet um, Hananiah. God has called certain people to expose these things. And we're not exposing people's hidden, hidden lives. We're exposing false teaching. That's it. And it's not about nobody's doctrine is perfect. I'm talking about, I'm not talking about people saying, or oh, uh, once saved, always saved, or whatever, or speaking in tongues is not this, or prophets is not this. I'm talking about teaching sorcery and witchcraft. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about extra biblical sorcery, witchcraft. That's what I focus on. Teaching things that are that promote perversion, lust, doctrines of demons. That's that's what I'm focused on. But at the end of the day. You can keep calling me out. It don't matter to me because at the end of the day, you're, 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 it's like you're inadvertently or indirectly raising my influence. I know what you're trying to do, but it's not working. It's not going to work, right? It's not going to work. But anyways, man, I want to let you know that I forgive you. And I never had any desire to tear you down or anyone down. Like I said in that screenshot that I'm focused on. Um, I have nothing against Lovi, Terran, or anything like that because it's not personal. It's more so doctrine. It doesn't matter how many times I post it. It's because of the things that they're saying that is that is an error and it's deceiving their following, which are souls. I'm concerned about souls. You may you may be you may be more concerned about your influence, your name, and whatnot, but not me, man. You know, I'm gonna bear my cross and I'm gonna run my race and I'm gonna help God's people. And I stand before the Lord. He will say, well done, my good and faithful servant, because ministry is not about me, even though I have a lot of influence and I'm growing and God is doing a lot of things through this ministry. It's not about me. I always say that God has called me to be a voice for the people. I'm a voice for God, obviously, but a voice for the people, right? And my objective is for people to be free from idolatry, seducing spirits, demonic doctrines, deception, generational curses and whatnot, and to know their identity and authority in Christ. And those of you that are on social media and say, I never see you do this, I'm not posting those revival nights that I have with people in, in their homes. I'm not posting when I go to churches and I do deliverance. I'm not posting when I go on the street and I and I, I, I minister to the Jehovah Witnesses and I talk to them. I, I'm, not, I'm not posting these things when I bring people through deliverance and I travel and I pray for people uh, and I never post these things, never talk about it. I don't, I'm not posting when I do one-on-one -on -one deliverance sessions with people behind the scenes. And you're definitely not there in those classes once a month where I'm, paying, where I'm praying for uh, hundreds of people per class, right? You're not there, right? Uh, but you're not there, but not everything needs to be broadcasted because that can be a spirit of pride. 
And now this is not competition, but I break any spirit of competition, every spirit of deception, every spirit of lies in the name of Jesus. And I pray those who are watching, you got to understand that this is about souls. You need to know the truth. You got to know the truth. You must know the word of God. And when, and when you see someone you respect or someone you think is authentic merging with sorcerers, you have the right to be confused. You have a right to ask questions. You have the right to step away, period. And that's on facts.